All right, we're here with media availability for senior safety, Daniel Scott. We'll take questions, get started with Jeff Ferrato. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Daniel, uh, when you watch tape of uh, the USC offense, uh, what jumps out? Um, I mean, they're highly talented. Um, I think that goes without saying. Um, they're probably one of the most powerful offenses in the country, uh, according to, you know, stats and numbers and all that. So um, I'm excited to play them. Playing against the best only shows your true ability. So, um, you know, wide receivers are good. Quarterbacks are obviously good. Linemen are good. we got a couple running backs that are good. So it'll be a good test for us defensively, for sure. So where does the defense start when you're playing against an offense that can do that many things real well? Um, I mean, I think you just focus on what you can control, you know, so in certain plays as a DB, if I need to focus on wide receivers, that's what I need to focus on. If I'm a linebacker and I need to focus in on the run game a little bit, then that's what I need to focus on. Um, but not getting too ahead of ourselves, you know, trying to break it down. Um, we're really trying to preach, you know, making sure everyone does their job. And if we all do our 111th on the field, um, we'll have success, you know, playing and play out. Uh, on a different topic, um, I believe you've played at the LA Coliseum maybe in 2018. Is that your real freshman year? Did, did you get uh, second year? Yeah. Second, second year. year. And did you, did you play in the game or what's, and also I'm wondering if you saw games there growing up and just kind of what's your impression of that? It's a pretty historic stadium. Right. Right. Um, I believe that year it was, it was definitely a fun game to go to and be a part of. Um, I remember playing special teams a, a lot during that game um, and coming out with a victory, you know, in an away environment, I think was, was huge for our team. And especially during that time, um, you know, as for the Coliseum, it's, it's highly historical, you know, driving home from the airport sometimes from LAX and seeing it on the freeway or, um, you know, anything like that. It, it's huge. You know, whether it's not only football games, they got concerts in there and everything. So it has its history, but at the end of the day, it's just the next venue that we play at. So, um, you know, it'll be exciting for, you know, some of us guys that are going home back to Southern California for sure. Um, but again, it's just another stadium for us this coming up week. That that time you you walked out in the stadium for the first time, and you got that whole expanse in front of you. What's that like? I mean, I think that's why you play college football and football in general. You know, having that adrenaline rush through you, looking around, see all those uh, fans and everything. Um, you know, even see the torch. I think sometimes up there by the scoreboard. Um, you know, it, it's really definitely why you play football. So that's what I would say. And uh, this will be your last trip there, maybe Cal's last trip for a while since they're going to be leaving the Pac-12. Uh, what would it mean for you guys in your season to, to get one there? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, sending the seniors off right, not only myself, but the rest of the seniors on the team in fifth years, uh, you know, means a lot, especially the rest of the guys that are from L.A., um, you know, with the whole conference realignment and whatnot, you know, that could be a tough pill to swallow with some guys. Um, but I think we're excited, you know, again, you know, going back to back weeks, continuing to play against some of the offensive, uh, the nation's best, I think is, uh, is the true test for us. And we're going to continue to buckle our chin straps, put our mouthpiece in and, uh, go out and fight. Have fun, Daniel. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. We'll go to Jake Curtis. Go ahead, Jake. Yeah. I don't know how much you've seen of Caleb Williams, but how is he different from the previous two quarterbacks you've seen Penix and uh, Knicks? Right. Um, I mean, just from the few days that I've been watching film on him, he's a smart guy. Um, you know, I think he reads the defense well. I think he makes the right decisions, whether it's in the RPO game or, um, you know, picking the right receiver, making the right check downs. Um, so, again, another test, like I said, last two weeks we had good tests and, you know, this one will be the same, if not better. So uh, I'm really excited to go against him. Anything different about him than the previous two guys? Um, I wouldn't say so. I mean, one first guy was a lefty. The next two are righties. Uh, I would say Caleb and Bo run a little bit more than uh, Phoenix. But other than that, they all got good arms, uh, can throw, throw most to all balls, you know, whether it's an out route, a deep ball, uh, check down. So, again, real excited to go against them. I'll take myself off mute. Um, do you have anything else for Dan? Go ahead, Jeff. Jeff, my, now I think you're on mute, Jeff. It's contagious. Go ahead. It is contagious. Sorry about that. I, I don't. I think I asked you. Had, did you ever go to games at the Coliseum when you were growing up? And 
And if so, tell me about that experience. Yeah, um, I didn't go as much as I went to like the Rose Bowl per se. I live a little bit closer to the Rose Bowl. Um, but the few times that I went, I had a, a young aunt that used, went to USC when I was a little kid. So getting to go there with her sometimes and watch the games, um, you know, we're big. But, you know, I usually just watch them on TV, whether it was Reggie Bush or, you know, all the notable guys that went there. Um, but I, I probably went to maybe one or two, but mostly to the Rose Bowl for sure. And how old do you think you were? And, and who did you remember seeing them play? Uh, it might have been Oregon State, but I'm not too, too sure. And may, I would say middle school. Middle school is probably the year sixth, seventh grade. Um, but that was it. That's all I can remember. A long time ago. Right, right. All right, thanks. Thank you, Jeff. Daniel, I actually have a question for you, too. What's the type of Scott contingent that people should expect to see at this game in terms of numbers or who's coming? Uh, getting mom and brother back and probably dad and then the extended family. So I'd, I think my brother and I were texting last night about tickets getting around 20 to 25. So I'm going to do as best as I can. And whoever can't, just stay around in the tailgate. So, but yeah, uh, hopefully the Scott family and the Scott crew can uh, come loud and proud. Awesome. All right, man. We appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Okay. See ya. Thank you, Daniel. Bye. Bye.